Hey wavy babies, it's Ocean Sims and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build and today's speed build was actually inspired by Pinterest. Yes, good old lucky Pinterest. Honestly, Pinterest is a great source for inspiration, um, especially if you're looking for like realistic small homes and things like that. The only problem, the only problem is that when you are building a real home in The Sims 4, the tiles and the floor plans and everything just does not, it does not come out the way that you envision. Um, the actual shape of the house is quite boxy because I wanted to follow the original floor plan. But as you see, when we get to the interior of the house, I could not do the original floor plan. Okay, I don't know. I just didn't try hard enough. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I could recreate this again. But this is like footage from like, probably say like two months ago or a month and a half ago and I finally got around to editing it and I finally said you know what this year it's 2021 I'm not going to judge myself if a house looks like uh, a bag of smushed bread or something I'm just going to put I'm going to put it up you know that's part of my growth you're going to see my growth so that one day hopefully when I get like super cool and super good at building where I'm like actually like yeah I can build like I can build build you know then you know I can see where I came from that's one thing I love about builders like I love how like fearless they were when they first started like if you look back at little simsies builds even urban sims and just even other builders that we love sim lissy you can see the growth and I feel like that's very important with anything you do in life like you know don't be afraid to kind of like put yourself out there because uh whew, if you guys saw my sims and stuff before like i love creative sim but if you saw my sims when i used to use alpha cc like everybody looked the same everybody looked like they had the same mama and daddy like seriously so yeah <laughs> there is growth there you know and it's always nice to appreciate the growth with the landscaping it looks kind of cheesy it looks kind of like mary jane you know plain jane it looks very like calculated but i was trying to get it as close to the original photo as possible like you know we have some of the same bushes and flowers and stuff that that photo has but at the same time again real things in real life <clears throat> excuse me don't always look that great in the sims 4 they don't always look that great like for some reason this all yellow vinyl um this little siding i mean it just didn't look that great for some reason to me like in the picture it looks so beautiful it's like oh my god this bright little yellow house but just i don't know if it was a lot that i placed this on it just didn't really scream at me um so i actually ended up moving this 30 by 20 lot to one of the 30 by 20 lots in newcrest because this actual lot that i built it on i think it's potter's splay i think that's what it's called it just didn't do it for me the lighting and everything i hate like a dark like lit house i want like the sun rays and everything to be coming through the front of the house more so than the back so i ended up moving the house to like take pictures in and stuff if you do decide to download this house which you know i love you if you do because that means you see potential in me <laughs> do what you want with it i don't care because you could probably make it better than me but definitely um you know make sure you have vb dot move objects on because the uh columns will not show up like the some of them in the front like two of them in the front won't show up <laughs> you might notice in the thumbnail that one of them are, is like missing because when i moved the house for the thumbnail i forgot to do that and i had to use that cheat to put that one column there so yeah that's between you and me but now i can move on to the fun stuff the fun stuff is the interior now I love me a good old fashioned home, okay? I love a good old quaint little home. For some reason, it always just makes me feel like really comfy and cozy. And I just love the way it looks in The Sims 4. I feel like The Sims 4 has amazing build and buy features. Like literally the objects and everything just look so well done really well done you can tell I'm crazy about it but uh yeah so I wanted to kind of give this home like a little flair to it where basically I have in my mind an older couple again me here I'm, I'm again with the older couple I don't know what I keep why do I keep making homes tailored towards older couples no I'm just kidding but um yeah like anyway just like you know one sim could live here or even two and one of the rooms is their bedroom and then of course the other room is like this really messy unorganized junk room almost like a closet office slash thing going on and I was inspired because like my grandparents um when I used to like spend the night there when I was a kid like my you know obviously it's just my grandparents there they had like a really nice home but there was like the, just this one room like this one room that had like it was almost like a mini closet mm. sorry I didn't mean it like on the mic <laughs> I don't even feel like editing that out, y'all. You're just going to see it. I mean, hear it. But yeah, there was like this one room that was just a closet slash 
whatever space there was like suits in there papers probably memorabilia <laughs> i don't know it was like all my grandpa stuff like i think my grandpa probably was like a mini hoarder um yeah so it was like kind of weird but it was kind of cool because it was like you know i never went in there but i would always like peep inside there and just look around and then like if i hear or like you know heard somebody kind of coming i'd close the door but i always wondered like dang i really want to step into this room but you could barely like step in it because there was just so much stuff there so that's what i did with the extra room which you will see so the home is like again very tight you know the dining space is in the middle of the floor so it's a very small home not very well thought out but hey you know when you uh when you're doing Ocean's Realty, you know, <laughs> contracted by Ocean, you know, the floor plan isn't going to be that spacious sometimes, okay? But I did manage to make a nice spacious hallway, which I actually appreciated. I never really do that, so I was trying to, like, kind of do that there. I didn't add a TV. I just wanted, like, a really nice record player, you know, and just really nice, like, knitting things embroidery stuff on the walls and just have it really like nicely decorated and yeah like this is one of the homes that I actually decorated for once because I know I do have like a couple speed builds on the channel where I kind of leave it empty um but like I'm also trying to have a good mix between like my empty starter ish looking homes and then also something where it's kind of thought out to where if you did want to make the sims for this home and place them in here and visit them then you could do that and then it'd be really cool too but I try not to like over clutter so really like the only thing that's really cluttered in this home is that room that I was telling you about. So yeah, like the whole, the rest of the house is pretty chill and everything like that, but I'm excited. Like I found some other like build and spo on Pinterest the other night and I'm just super digging like what I found. So I'm going to really try and recreate those. I wouldn't say like I'm into building more so than gameplay right now, but I do find myself more more inclined to build because i'm trying to like it's like a new world for me and right now the sim sometimes it, it's a struggle to make things feel new and i love gameplay as you guys can see i've been having a blast like kind of just posting up some casual gameplay which i'm going to continue to do because huge lps and stuff like that isn't really my thing however however if we do get like a generations pack for the sims 4 or anything similar I told um, Twitter, like, look, I will give y'all a 50 part LP if we get a generation. Like, if we get any type of like pack that is, you know, surrounded and mainly focused on family gameplay, I will give you a 50, probably a 100 part LP. I will take it back to The Sims three days where like people had like a 100 part LPs and it didn't even matter. Like, <laughs> I will do that. Like, literally, because I love family gameplay. It's my favorite. It's the most immersive for me. It's what The Sims is about. And I feel like, you know, for some reason, I'm extremely family oriented, like in The Sims, like, you know, just like as I am in real life with my own family. So, but I digress. I digress. Um, yeah. Like, you know, sometimes like, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Building feels so freaking fun. Like, it's just like a new world I'm entering because sometimes just playing gets boring. I already don't have like enough time as it is. So kind of have to use my time wisely. Like tonight I, after, you know, editing this and stuff, I think I'm probably going to you know, even like play, maybe, maybe try and create a sim or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to do. What are you guys going to do? You tell me while you are watching this video, what are you even doing right now? Are you doing your homework? Are you cleaning your room? Are you making breakfast? Are you, what else could you be doing at this time of day? Because we all live on different parts of the world. Isn't it the coolest thing that we're all in the universe at the same time? So like we're experiencing each other's like energies and interacting with each other like what if I was like in another part of the universe and born born like in a different time we'd never be able to talk to each other you know and so I think it's very interesting that we're all here today so I think it's really cool like I see a lot of cool comments on my videos like especially recently and I just want to say like thank you for that because it definitely makes creating content especially during this time because sims work content during this time for some reason I feel like there's a shift like I started like what two years ago and there's definitely like a shift and sometimes it gets a little like discouraging to keep creating you know or you know it's, it's just a it's just a weird thing to be honest with you but I don't even know how I got on that subject how are we here <laughs> here's the bathroom <laughs> but no um oh yeah I grew up with panel like walls in my home I actually built my childhood home the other night but I'm debating on like uploading it or not because it it looks it looks horrible, but it looks extremely realistic to how my house looked like when I from where I grew up. And so I kind of like made it in the era that I grew up playing Sims in because that's where my Sims addiction started when I was a kid. I was like, what, like eight, I think. Excuse me. 
but yeah so I kind of like made my room look the same like how it did then and yeah like the outside of my actual house it's at the time like it looks completely different now but like that at that time it looked <laughs> it just everything just looks so just like weird and different and I built in evergreen harbor so be on the lookout for that because I may be posting that soon I probably won't put it on the gallery though because that's kind of weird like you guys have my childhood home <laughs> to play with and I also don't think it's very flattering just because of the way that it looks and stuff in the area that it was in I just don't think that like at that time the way I built it just looks it just looks so weird in the sims 4 it just doesn't look like these cute little cottages and suburbans like it just looks so weird but um I thought it was a really cool and quirky build so I might put that up but yeah, I love this little like messy room. I could have definitely put more junk in it, but I didn't want to do all that. But I do like that, like, you know, it's like an office space, but it's also really junky. So who, you know, if this is like the granddad's room, I'm already calling him a grandpa. Or if this is like the husband's room or even like the wife's room or something, she has this like really messy but organized office. I thought that was kind of cool. But yeah, like, you know, I challenge you today, if you're not a builder in The Sims, definitely just like find a home and kind of try to build it. And even if it comes out really like, you know, not so pleasant, just keep it, you know, just keep it or scrape it, find another one and open up another empty lot and build again. And that's like, you know, when you keep doing that, like eventually you find yourself kind of like, OK, like you're kind of inspired, you're kind of more motivated to do you know more more builds and um yeah because you know I'm, I'm definitely one of those people that just fear build, building but now I'm starting to get out of that a little bit even though this looks a little bit awkward and horrendous <laughs> and unpleasant again Skechers shoebox I built a Skechers shoebox in the Sims 4 but if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and I will see you in the next video I love you so much guys all right peace out